We're gonna get to the style of your millennial reign. Matter of fact, you can choose to vote for which one to call. So then we go into the after. Yeah, right. and, and understand this, y'all. Some of this, this drought is coming to the ozone layer being depleted. Every time they send a rocket up and bust through that ozone layer going to the outer space, that opens a hole up. And as that hole keep getting bigger and bigger, it's allowing raw radiation to come through the earth. And that's another form of it may not be just straight drought, but what it is is he's allowing them to destroy itself. And that's what's happening. It's coming back full circle on them, what they're doing, just like acid rain. All of that stuff, the chemicals that go from Monsanto, it comes back down in rain on your car. When you see all the different colors, that's what's on the rain. So that's getting on your crops as well. That's why we have to make sure you spray over your food. Even if you eat the right stuff, if acid rain falls on it, you need the blood of Christ to wash that off in your system. As long as it's the right food that the Most High calls food, Leviticus 11, Deuteronomy 14, he says, this is food. If, if, if anything you else you've eaten on the list, that's not food. Like your car man, you say, this is gasoline. <laughs> now you put some corn whiskey in there, that's not gasoline. <laughs> okay. The car gonna run rough. Well, I well, well, the only thing you do is have you explain first Tim Four to her. No. Well, see, that's, that's why she's still doing it. You know, because she has to see first Tim Four because that's the script she's going through. First thing is identify what she's talking about. She's talking about blessing. Well, that ain't in Acts 10. You got to read Acts 10. You got to verse 28. Right. But well, what she's speaking of is first Tim 4. You got to read that verse 1 on down. You right. See, it ain't got nothing to do with swine. Swine you bought up in the whole shop. Ain't got nothing to do with that. He arguing about those that are vegetarians and those that are saying you can't marry. Right. Those are doctors who bang you. Those that say don't eat no meat at all. And those that say don't get married. Right. So then he chopped that. He right. run through that. Explain what foods you can eat that are sanctified according to the word of God. Right. So we got to go to the word of God and see what's clean according to the word of God. Right. That's how you chop that. And what we're talking about, there's an Edomite term called kosher. The Bible never mentions that word. He calls it clean and unclean. So be careful even when you speak of kosher, you have to identify what I'm speaking of a clean diet versus an unclean diet. Because not eating pork ain't guaranteeing nobody in here to keep the God. You ain't got to never eat swine and go high tea. You get over there with the goats. I don't know you. I ain't got no clue of who you are. Right. And somebody, uh, and if they ask about that, just ask them a simple question. Like, whatever I pray over is good, you know what I'm saying? So it must mean be uh, something bad of it. So ask them a question like, shit, so if I pray over this bank robbery I'm going to commit, it's good. You know, if I pray over this, uh, yeah, exactly. Well, you know, how about, how this about some kind of believe, I'm Because good. it said every creature, a human being, or so-called mankind, is a creature. So ask them, is it okay for me to pray over you. a dead body? Right. <laughs> you, buddy, how can I eat you? Look, it's some dead bodies up in the morgue now. They say I can take a hand and a foot and I put some small carrots and some green peas around it and get this. They would stop at you know I don't mean that. Right. right. So, so, what's the, so what's the measuring stick? Right. I don't know what we can eat can. But let them answer that right. because then they're going to have to come back and then show them Isaiah 66, 15 where Christ said, right. if you come back in the second coming and you eat it, then he's got some problems with you. But y'all, we're going to hit this, y'all, because we're getting the Revelation. Right. It's chapter 20, it's verse 1. This question about uh, the thousand year millennial reign when the Messiah returns. As many scriptures on there too, but we, you know, we gonna hit these two to kind of give a, a glimpse into the future. <laughs> Christ, you feel me? Come on. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit mm -hmm. and a great chain in his hand, mm -hmm. and he laid hold on that dragon, that old serpent, mm -hmm. which is the devil and Satan. And Satan. Don't let nobody act, act like it's different. You feel me like, oh, we're Luciferians, we're not Satanists. You bump into that. Mm -hmm. If you tell you that old dragon, that old serpent, is which is the devil, Satan, you see that? It's all the same cat. It's not play around on words. Come on, Hebrew. And bound him a thousand years. So Satan's going to be shut up. It's the time is coming where all this chaos and everything is breaking out around the world. He will be shut up for a thousand years. 
Time for Christ to rule. Come on, brother. And cast him into a bottomless pit mm. and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more. He should deceive the nations no more. No more your false religion. No more, no more your false politics. None of that. Sue saying none of that. Come on, bro. To the thousand years should be fulfilled. Uh -huh. And after that, he must be loose a little season. So why the Lord going let him back out of prison? Right. That's the question. Well, why? So check this out. The Lord is never this. Like, he's never going to force you to worship him. Right. See that? You're going to resist Satan and bang against him because you know that's the right thing to do. That's right. So he's being let back out to test who's going to be righteous. Or who's going to rise with him. Come on, Hebrew. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of your house. What you mean people going to be killed for Jesus' name? Yeah. Beheaded? That means your head got chopped off. Well, saying. these are people who don't accept the mark, right? Let's go, let's go explain this. Session. Come on. I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh shot and for the word of Yahweh, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither have received this mark upon their foreheads or their hands. Oh, yeah. And they or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh a thousand years. They would pray and reign for a thousand years. Reign means rulership. That's right. Rulership. That's what. That's what it is. Those that refuse the mark of the beast, you feel me? Go through the persecution, make it to the end, endure until the end. They get what thrones? Who sits on thrones? Kings. Kings. Rulers. See that? Come on, he bro. But so they, so they can throw whatever. I mean, if you know the thrones are coming for you, you feel at the end of all this, after you done persecuting me, kill this flesh, I'm good. My next waking moment, the Lord will be telling me, job well done, be a faithful servant. Yes. You've been faithful over a little, come on in. That's right. I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna make you rule over many cities. That's right. Right? If you know that's coming, like you should be able to overcome. We pray for the strength to overcome this flesh and persecution. Because right. you ain't down with Satan here. Ain't no room for you in his kingdom at all. Come on, Hebrew. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished. Mm. This is the first resurrection. Mm. The first resurrection. You see that? Mm -hmm. First resurrection. You get a, a, a further understanding in 1 Corinthians 15. That's right. Even the brothers that have died in Christ. That wouldn't be it, but they just died expecting the promises, like Abraham and all that. You feel me? All of them are part of the, the, the first resurrection. Those that have died in them and those that are still banging when you return for them will be part of the first resurrection. Absolutely. And they're going to reign for a thousand years with Christ. If you read Revelation 2, uh, verse 26 on down, Christ said, the same authority that my Father gave to me, I'm going to give to them. If they overcome and keep my works to the end, they're going to have power over the nation. Right. We're going to rule them with a rod of iron. So no more voting. No more, come on, brother, suggesting none of that. Rod of iron means it's going to be enforced. That's right. It's going to be strict. Come on, Hebrew. Blessing and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. See that? That's what we all should be aiming for. First resurrection. Go, go hard or go home. Blessing and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection, uh -huh. or such the second death has no power. What do you mean second death? Second death. I thought you died once. That's right. It's the second death. Spiritual. You gonna be even if you're wicked, you're gonna be resurrected, given your eternal damnation judgment, and get thrown alive into the lake of fire. That's one the second grave to the other. Huh? Yeah, from one grave to the other. Uh, that's the second. That's the second death right there. Right. That spiritual death. Yeah. Come on. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. Uh -huh. Or such the second death have no power. They're not going. If you make the first cut, you ain't got to worry about the lake of fire. That's right. At all. But Come they on. shall be priests of Yahweh. They gonna be and of Yahweh's shot. They're going to be priests. That's your job. That's right. You are a priest or a warrior of God. You heard right. the straight teach the sons of Adam how to properly live on God's earth. Right. That was, that's what you was chosen for. You weren't chosen to brag like I'm chosen. You not. It wasn't about that. 
He need me, most I chose people to put forth his worship and praise within her. That's what that's about. Israelites. Come on, people. But they shall be priests of the Most High and Yahweh and reign with him a thousand years. A thousand years. That's beautiful. That's an everlasting kingdom right there. Come on, Hebrew. And when the thousand years are expired, uh -huh. Satan shall be loose out of his prison. Come on. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth. God and Magog. Uh -huh. To gather them together to buy. Uh -huh. And he said, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And those land masses comprise of Russia and China. That's right. Russia and China. God made God. All right? Come on, Hebrew. And they went up on the breadth of earth, of the earth, and compassed the camps of the saints of both, and the beloved city. And fire came down from the most high out of heaven. And the bone thing. That's the last and final war. And right. notice we don't take part in that at all. Most high gonna burn up his enemies. Those that are coming around, gonna let Satan out. Satan gonna deceive the nations. Ain't y'all tired of going up to Jerusalem? Right. Ain't y'all tired of worshiping or serving them niggas? Right. Y'all tired of that? Look, we can take it. Let's go get it. Right. It's gonna be the final battle. The Lord's gonna rain down fire out of heaven and destroy the enemy and everybody following him. Because they not wise, they not down with the program. That's why he let Satan loose again. That's Who really want to serve him? We, we, we're going to see. Oh, let him loose. He's going to test your rights just like he tested Eve. What did the Lord say? Y'all, he said this, this, that. You ain't got to do that. Come on. I'll give you riches right now. That's right. I know you're tired of bowing to these. Right. All right. Come on. <laughs> and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, mm. where the beast and false prophets are. And shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. That ain't like you finna burn up for one second and then you just forget about it. Like the Jehovah like, Witness team. Yeah, like the Jehovah Witness team. No, it's like that, that bush Moses was looking at that was consumed by fire, but it was still burning. Burning. Yeah, you burning, but guess what? You ain't going nowhere. This is eternal judgment right here. So it ain't no, okay, you burn up real quick and then that's over. 24 no. hours no. of fever, no. 7 days a week, yeah. 365 days a year. You said that what? fever, a migraine time of meal sheet. <laughs> Think about that forever, that fever. Hot, throw the covers off, oh, oh, pull back on your coat, oh, throw them off again. <laughs> ain't no relief, ain't no ad for this. Mm -hmm. And see, Satan knows his judgment that's coming. He can't get a community to nut straight like a fire for him. Misery, love, comfort. That's right. So even the people that's worshiping him, they deceive him. Because he don't care about that either. Absolutely. Don't get your little riches right now, but guess what? He ain't going to be burning with me. That's right. Right? Just okay, I just want to make sure I understand. So the ones who are beheaded for not taking the mark, those are the ones that's going to come back? Them, them and those, if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, Further about the resurrection, it goes into those that have also died and believed in Christ. Right. Okay. You feel me? Not just the mortals. Some people gonna be martyred. Some people gonna be killed for this. But it's brothers that have died and they sleep like Abraham. Right. Like they. You feel? They part of the first resurrection as well. Right. So even if you're not martyred, but say you died before the Lord returned, but you died in faith. You feel me? You died pushing the gospel of Christ and all that. First resurrection for you. All right. That's what that's about. So some brothers teach, well, you gotta be martyred. Ah. Some of us are going to be martyred. But not that's, that you don't have to be martyred to be part of the first resurrection. <laughs> How do we know that? If you read 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and also 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, I tell you when Christ returned, uh, he was resurrecting oh, those that died already for him first. And then he's going to gather those that are living and gather them to him as well. Give them eternal life or whatever. But those that have already died to put their neck on the line for it, they need to gather to him first. You feel me? So that's the first resurrection. Not just the mortals, but brothers that have also died believing in the promise. But during the second resurrection, those are the people. Everybody who else who died and didn't believe. Everybody, everybody else. Right. That fall outside. Of that. Okay. So only the natural law that, that that didn't understand Christ but did good things, you know. And their O's got to outweigh their exes, right? You know, and, and they'll resurrect as part of those nations because, you know, like I said, they were just a good old person, helped people out in the neighborhood, and knew nothing wrong. 
something about them could have helped the Israelites out like Rahab the heart. Right, 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 right. They will be part of the second resurrection and told you can enjoy this too because right. even though you didn't get down like you're supposed to, you helped my children out. Right. So I got a promise for you too. Yeah, but the rulership and reign go to, go to Israel. It's yes, Israel. It's Pete Hurst. You know what I'm saying? But then guess what the other nations can partake and enjoy as well? Nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But it's just an order with God to the Jew first, then to the Gentile. All right? Come on, Hebrew. Let's finish this up. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whom face the earth and the heavens fled away. Uh -huh. And there was found no place for them. Some people right. teach that's going to white throne judgment is right now. No. No, this is all future right here. It's not happening right now. Come on, Hebrew. I saw the dead, small and great, uh, stand before your house shy. Hold it down back there, y'all. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were open. These are the books. Uh, hopefully your name is in the right book. That's right. The books were open. So that means the Lord has a scribe. That's right. Keeping track of what's going on in the earth. Right. See that? The books are open. Come on. And other books was open. And, and another book was open. Come on. Which is the book of life. Yeah. Come on. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their words. After that thousand year millennial reign, that's when this happens. All right? After uh, Israel reigned on the earth, the established right. righteousness in the earth, then the white throne judgment comes. That's right. All right? For the rest of the dead to fall outside. The faithful in Christ and the martyrs in Christ. Still a chance, and we know it's the book of life is there. That's right. Still a chance for them. Hopefully, they exit our way they owe us. Hopefully. If not, there's no room for you in the kingdom. There won't be a wicked toenail in the kingdom of heaven. Not a toenail, my boy. <laughs> not a toenail. <laughs> Come on, Hebrew. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. In them. In them. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. You see that death and hell. That you know hell is the grave. Right. We're going to keep reading. Hell going to get tossed somewhere. Come on. And they were judged every man according to their work. According to what? According to their work. You're going to be judged according to your works. Hopefully you was working right. Once you said Christ was Lord, you were supposed to be working righteousness. Out right. Spread the gospel. Come on. And death and hell uh -huh. were cast into the lake of fire. Uh -huh. This is the second death. That's the second death right there. So hell is not a fiery place. It's going to be tossed into the lake of fire. That's right. What's well, so it what you say? Take one fiery place and throw it into another? No. What's that destruction for? Hell is the grave. That's right. That's when we all go into the resurrection. Some of us going to rest with the righteous. Some of us going to rest with the wicked. Christ going to return and gather heaps. That's right. Those that are dead and those that are living and give them rulership. Everybody else will be woke up after that. All right? Come on, Hebrew. And whosoever... And whosoever was not found written in the book of life, uh, bad news, was cast into the lake of fire. Straight up, boy, bad news. Lake of fire. There will still be some living. Zechariah 14 now. Zechariah 14 and 9. 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 Zechariah 14 People still gonna have a choice. That's the thing. Yeah, we'll close out after this. Exactly right. 14, you get verse 8 on down. But it's, it's many more scripts that deal with this as well about what will be taking verse place eight. on earth. Also, Isaiah 4 chapter tell you that all those that remain alive after this, those will be the ones that pop, repopulate Israel. Yeah. Those that remain and are alive. That's right. So when you read that, you understand Israel is gonna be repopulated. Right. Fourth chapter. Fourth chapter. Yes, fourth chapter. Yes, fourth chapter. Zechariah 14. The Old Testament talking about the kingdom being set up in Jerusalem. Isaiah and Zechariah, I'm sorry. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 8. Let's 
And it shall be in that day that living waters shall go out from Jerusalem. Living waters. What kind of water is that? Right. Huh? Water that can get a light. Whoever drink of this water shall thirst again. Huh? There you go. So it said Christ was going to spring up as a root out of dry ground. That's right. There was no living water. No word being preached. Now you can understand Isaiah 53 and 1 when he was talking about. That's right. Come on, he will. Half of them toward the former sea and half of them toward the hinder sea. Mm. In summer and in winter shall it be. Mm. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. Mm. In that day shall there be one law mm. and his name one. Right on. In that day. Come on. All the land shall be turned as the plain from Geba to Rimon. Spots over in our land. Come on. South of Jerusalem. Mm. And it shall be lifted up and inhabited in her place from Benjamin's gate unto the place of the first gate, mm. unto the corner gate, mm. and from the tower of Hananiel mm. unto the king's wine press. To understand that, you have to look at an old depiction of how Jerusalem was set up. Benjamin gate, the wine press, where they used to make the wine at, and all that. If you really want to know what that means, find out how Jerusalem was built and set up, and you can see what he's talking about. You can visualize, oh, that's what he means. All oh, this is going to be made plain. This is going to be this. This is going to be that. He's talking about the condition of the kingdom in that day. Come on, brother. And men shall dwell in it, and there shall be no more utter destruction. Huh. But Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. That ain't happening now. <laughs> they cannot be the Jews then. Right. One condition of them returning home is none shall make them afraid. They're going to be safely inhabited. Jerusalem will be safely inhabited in that day. That ain't happening now. If that, if that went down in 1948, we got a problem. That's right. We got a real problem. Come on, Hebrew. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Uh -huh. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Remember we just read Revelation 20? God and made God, and they finna come and battle. Lord told me they, they flesh gonna consume right up off them. Now you know what that fire gonna be. Fire's gonna consume them. Come on, he wrote. And their eyes shall consume away in their hole. Uh -huh. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Sound like nuclear fallout to me. Mm -hmm. Come on, he wrote. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them. And they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor. Uh -huh. And on his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. Mm -hmm. And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem. Oh. And the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together. Uh. Gold and silver uh. and apparel in great abundance. Say the same thing in Revelation 21 and chapter 22. They got to bring all the gold, riches, uh, apparel, everything back to the children of Israel. It's ours anyway. That's right. They got rich when we fail. They That's took right. all our, our temple uh, jewelry and all that. So they, it comes right back to what it belongs to. That's right. But those said Judah are going to fight in Jerusalem. They gonna fight. See that? Lord's coming for war. What do you think he's doing? That's right. He's gathering people to himself, giving them eternal life, and now we gotta clean the land. That's right. Come on, bro. And so shall be the plague of the horse, mm. of the mule, mm. of the camel, and of the ass, and of all the beasts that shall be in these tents as this plague. And it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year, when? from year to year, uh -huh. to worship the King, uh -huh. the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. and to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. See that? So if they, they were the children of Israel and the Messiah had redeemed them, why are we all going to Jerusalem and keep the Feast of Tabernacles? That's right. When our Lord reigns, guess what's going to happen? The other nations are going to keep the Lord's holy day. That's right. No more Christmas. Right. Huh? No more Easter eggs and bunnies. None of that. You want to come keep them same feast you scared of now. Leviticus 23. That same feast the Lord Ben gave us. They all got a spiritual significance for them. That's right. Come on, Hebrew. And it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth uh -huh. unto Jerusalem uh -huh. to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. even upon them shall be no rain. So if we had not been making it up, if they were the Jews and the Lord delivered them, and being that we don't go to uh, Jerusalem to keep the Feast of Tabernacles, probably we shouldn't have had no rain for the long. That's right. Uh -huh. Drip off that. No rain for those that don't come up and serve the Mosai. 
and the, and, and the power of this sub. You don't come up here, keep the feast of tabernacles, you get no rain. That's right. No rain, no crops, no crops, no food. That's right. No food, you stole. Go on in three weeks. Hmm. Three weeks with no rain right now. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. This says no rain. That's right. He don't come up. If the United States ain't, ain't went up to Jerusalem for the feast of tabernacles, we ain't. That don't happen. That's right. So being that we don't have, we should not have had no rain. That's right. A month ago, years ago, none of that. Come on, Hebrew. And if the family of Egypt go not up uh -huh. and come not, that have no rain, there shall be the plague wherewith well, the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. So if they choose not to come up, guess what? They're going to be smite, smitten. No rain, none of that. They really is going to be their own destruction. How could you choose not to go? Like, you need to go on up there. That's right. Just so it rains so you can feed your house up. That's right. But you hate the Lord so bad, you're like, later for that. I ain't going up there. Oh, okay. Well, you ain't getting no rain. Serious. Come on, Hebrew. This shall be the punishment of Egypt uh -huh. and the punishment of all nations. No, some of the nations. All nations. No, that's just a few. All nations. All nations. Come on. That come not up to keep the feast of tabernacle. Uh huh. This in, is. Okay. And notice this is when Christ is set up. This is when the Lord is set up in Jerusalem. So guess what? This is the thousand year reign. This is the glimpse into what's going on. All right. Come on. In that day, there, in that day shall there be upon bales of horses. Holiness unto the Lord, mm. and the pots in the Lord's house shall be like the bowl before the altar. Mm. Yeah, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts. Yeah, holiness, no wicked toenail. Holiness, come on. And all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them, mm. and see therein. And in that day there shall be no more the Canaanites. Mm. In the house of the Lord of hosts. Know that that's the land of Canaan. Until Christ return and make it the kingdom of Christ. That's right. No more Canaan. Go ahead, brother. It's the leaders of the Lord that got the promise. Yeah. Family. Yeah. Leaders. I mean, how are you going to get six billion people? Right. No doubt. No doubt. The representatives are still got to come up and pay allegiance. You see what I'm saying? But hey, we're not seeing that now, so they cannot be Jews. That's right. See that? Like when the Jews are set up, when Judas fight in Jerusalem. Come on now, you want to come on up there and, and, and honor the king, the Lord. Uh, the session today, he rose. Praise to the most high. We ain't Psalm 117. Close the prayer. Oh, yeah. Great, 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 great. With the most high's permission. Oh, praise the Lord. All ye nations, praise him, all ye people, for his merciful kindness is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 